Hey everybody, Will Robson here. You can check out my work at facebook.com forward slash Robson Inc. And today I think we're going to talk a little bit about balance. And what I mean by balance is this all has to do with figure drawing and placing your figures appropriately in the spaces that they need to be in. And by this I mean um, how to draw somebody walking and jumping and uh, weight distribution. I'm not going to show you how to draw people walking because I mean you could just look up references for that but this is a little something that I've learned over the years that I think has really helped me and it's a little something I like to call the nose nose and by this I mean that uh, on your figures where the nose is should eventually be balanced on a foot or a knee or maybe even sometimes uh, a wrist or a shoulder. It's just, it's a little something to do with balance. So let me go into that a bit. I've drawn a little straight line here. So this is a line. Well, those are two lines, but this is a line. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and draw a figure walking. So when I'm thinking, when I start thinking about, okay, I need to draw someone walking. What direction are they walking? Let's just say they're walking this way. So immediately I have to think about what the body position they're going to be in. Um, this I'll cover in a, uh, a different video. Um, but let me just chuck his little bean body in there. I like to draw a lot in beans. And these pictures are going to be super rough just so you can get the point of what I'm trying to do. Okay, so here's, here's this little dude. This is his body. His chest is facing this way and his uh, pelvis is facing that way as well. So you might think, well, how do I draw somebody walking? I might draw like their leg here and their other leg here and then his arm here and his arm here. Now that's fine. <laughs> it doesn't look terrible, but there's little ways to uh, make this look more balanced. And when I say the nose nose, actually, I should probably move this over to the nose. <clears throat> so if... Uh, if you want to find the best place to place a leg when walking, um, it's generally going to have the foot near where the balance is, this line here, because this automatically creates balance, because this all has to do with weight distribution. It's where your body is putting its weight um, to move, if that's the correct way of saying it. So now if I just quickly chuck in the rest of him there, so this guy's walking, and obviously arms go in the opposite direction, depending on the action of where he's moving. So this guy's a pretty happy dude just walking down the street. And again, these pictures are super rough to get the idea. So instantly, or hopefully, you should be able to see that this little line here is basically sort of matching up. And if I wanted to match it up even more, I could just push his head a little bit forward like that. And see, look, that's even that's even more dynamic right there. So this is a balance thing. So this walk, works on anything, walking, or running, uh, even jumping in ways. And I'll show you that in a sec. Uh, let me just get rid of this dude. So let's see how this works uh, using different poses. Uh, I'm going to do what I call the crouch pose, or what I also like to call the Wolverine pose, which is a dude that's hunched over with poor posture, always ready to pounce. It's it's a classic sort of ready-to-fight action pose. Um, I always had trouble placing legs doing this pose, so let's give it a go. So I'm just going to get rid of this bar right now because it actually I, I'm at the point where I don't need to use it anymore. It actually distracts me now. So... Uh, we're drawing a guy hunched over. So this is his torso here. So he's got to have his sort of body bent in a bit. So let's say his head's roughly around that area. And he's got his little arm. We're just going to pretend this is Wolverine, okay, guys? Um, so, okay, so this is Wolverine. He's got his hands here. He's got his claws. So he's going schnicked, schnicked, schnicked. Schnickety, schnickety, schnicked, and if he's Wolverine, he's got the cool big ears. Okay, so there's Wolverine, right? He's a bit uh, malnourished, but it's it's good enough for now. So I get to, I used to always get to around this point. Um, let me get his body a bit more balanced there. So there's his pelvis. I'd always get to this point, and I'd have no idea what to do with legs. I would put, like, a leg here, and then one here, so he's sort of, like, doing a weird 70s dance move. Um... But instantly, already subconsciously, I've already put this leg here. And this is to do with the walking again. Now, I could just put a leg here and have him walking like this, which is fine. But this is not the pose I want, because I don't want him walking. I want him in this sort of action pose. So, uh, let's just stick his leg 
or let's let's put his knee where his nose is because you don't have to it doesn't have to be the foot that goes in that area it just needs to be some sort of limb that creates balance that goes in that area so let's say that's his knee there uh, and then let's say his leg is like down here so he's got something here um, so this is where his, his the body is being balanced okay this is sort of roughly the area now see look I, even I'm not perfect right now so I mean his knee could be more out this way and it would be a better balance and then this leg you can really do whatever I mean you could do him like this which means he's in a weird like I really have to pee sort of pose which is if, if that's what you're going for then that's how you do that but we want him to look cool so I basically I'd have him slightly moving like this and put his leg back there and there's a pretty standard action pose so just try this out because it really is uh, a method that works um, and it can work for many different things so as long as when you're drawing your figures you're just thinking about uh, what, what first of all you need to think about what plane is their torso on you see how I've drawn these little sort of checkered lines here this is telling me that this torso is pointing down and this one is pointing slightly up which easily lets me know uh, the balance what's going on in this picture already see right now I I'm not e I don't even know what pose I'm trying to do I'm just drawing um, something in there but I know that um, once I get to this stage I know where the balance goes um, which means this leg would I would probably put it here and then this leg could be like like that maybe a bit behind so maybe this is like for instance this is silver surfer on his surfboard and this is what I find was really fun about doodling because I'm not the type of person that knows what they're like if I'm gonna doodle I might go like yeah I wanna draw Wolverine but I don't think about uh, the actual posies in which I, sh I know is a really bad thing but there's there's certain type of artists that can see what they want to draw before they even put it down but um I just like to do this type of stuff where I know that he's got schnickety schnicks coming out and then um, I used to always get to this stage and I'd never know what to do with balance so just sticking a knee in there um, yeah, you eventually figure out how to do it and that's sort of a silly pose um, maybe I'd put this leg back again if you're just sketching I mean sketching anything you should really always just start by drawing the torso and the way I sort of draw torsos is a combination of from the book How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way and uh, Michael Hampton's Figure Drawing, Design and Invention. Um, and these books really sort of just teach you how to break down objects into 3D objects, your figures, and how to think in 3D so that um, everything looks cool. So, for instance, I'm just doodling here. I don't know who this is. I don't know what this guy's doing. Uh, that's a silly arm, so we're going to change that. Uh, let's just say he's got his arm here. Um, and then his other arm here. I always start with this first, um, which is the upper torso. And then once I've sort of been looking here, I mean, I keep going back to sort of the same pose, like I could easily just do this guy walking again. So let's just try and do something different. Let's say he is uh, sort of doing a kick. I don't know. Um, but even here, like, okay, so this is a ridiculous pose, right? Let's say. Uh, let me just do some foreshortening. Let's say this guy's doing some sort of kung fu kick, right? Uh, so he's in midair. So see now, now I figured out what I want to do with the pose. So I'm changing things. So this dude is doing a kung fu kick in midair. Um, so let's just add a bit more action. So this guy's kicking. Even though he's kicking, there's still I'm still going to put like this balance here, just to show that he, even though he's in midair, he's still balanced. Like he's still a balanced-looking figure. <clears throat> And I hope that helps. I know these drawings are super rough, but the point of this is to be quick. Um, and, and this really works for anything. Now, knowing uh, this rule of the nose nose, um, it does help with trying to make figures that are not balanced. As in, let's say somebody is tripping over something. Uh, so let's draw somebody tripping over something. If somebody's tripping over something, they're not going to look like they're tripping over something if their knee is here. Right, so let's say this guy's tripping. Whoa, I'm falling. There's something tripping me. That it looks like he he's running or something. Okay, so if <clears throat> sorry, if he's going to be tripping, the trip action is not going to be happening where his nose is. The trip action would be happening 
around here so he'd be tripping and he'd be falling because now since the nose knows he's not where uh, his balance should be thus creating an imbalance figure so if I just type in Batman comics <clears throat> alright so we're going to the coolness of the internet we search Batman comics let's see if we can find some poses here okay uh, let's look here so if you look look here you can't see this guy's foot um, but I would assume that his foot is back here where his nose is and even if it isn't this hand here still signifies balance it means that he's balanced even though he's in this sort of cool pose he's very balanced and you should be able to go through all this look at this guy right here hang on let's try and view this image I think this is Neil Adams stuff this guy's face here is where his foot is so even though he's running and he looks pretty unbalanced he is a balanced figure <clears throat> um, it's pretty easy to spot I mean you could spot it here and one of the easiest things to spot it in it's great to spot in comics but you can spot it anywhere in life I mean look at this as well his head here is where that knee is um, his face here is where this knee is it doesn't matter as I said knee or foot it doesn't matter uh, it's all an experimentation look I mean that's dead on I'm balanced by standing right here even though Batman's in mid-jump here, well, this is sort of a center balance, because as I said before, since his torso is not really bent, then his center of gravity is in his torso. Perfect example, Jim, Jim Lee pose, he's balancing where his knee is. Um, this is how you find balance, and you doesn't have to just see it in comics. If I just search... Uh, well, let's, let's try and be careful here. Let me just... Uh, filter explicit results, because we don't know what's going to go on here. Let me just search models see what comes up uh, <laughs> okay this is Vega uh, this is gonna get a little bit PG-13 look at all of these women here okay look at this image they are all balanced because they're standing in place now if if we follow the rule of the nose nose we can easily see where all of these women are this woman right here her balance is in this foot. Her, her, her body is bent, so all the weight is being distributed on this foot. Uh, this pose here, which is sort of a curve in the torso, um, is actually... It, her center of balance is in the middle. But if I was to draw this and this weight was being distributed, I'd still put her foot maybe down here a bit. Because it just... I mean, this is real life we're looking at, but drawing-wise, it's how to make more uh, dynamic poses. So this here... Her foot's here, this girl here, her, her weight's being distributed in this leg, and her hair weight's being distributed in this leg, and obviously her weight's being distributed in this leg. You know, for instance, these don't match up perfectly, like obviously she's, her balance is right here. I apologize for my email blowing up right now. Her balance is right here, but her foot's right here, but I know, I know that her weight is being distributed on that leg. Um, so I hope that helps. I can't believe I just showed you all pictures of models, but I'm sure that was a bit more fun for everybody <laughs> instead of just drawing. So the nose nose people, that's the, really the main thing I wanted to talk about. So after showing you that fabulous picture of supermodels, <clears throat> the point of it was not to get you excited, the point of it was to just show you where weight gets distributed. And you can usually tell by the stiffness of a leg. As in, if, if one leg is stiff and the other leg is bent, obviously the weight is not being distributed on that leg, so the body is probably going to tilt a bit more to this side, where the person is standing. Um, like that. Um, and that's just... It, it's the it's the best way to, to just draw. And you can notice on anything, even if people are like, let's say somebody is... Um, let me zoom in a bit. Let's see what I'm doing. Um, if you're... if Even if you're drawing someone sitting down, I mean, obviously, their weight, you can still sort of put their weight where your foot's going to go a bit, even if they are sitting down. Um, it's just, it's more like a rule of thumb. You don't have to follow the rule, but it, you could really, if you just study life a bit more, you can certainly see how much uh, it helps. Um, so I hope this video helped. Um, and if you guys want to see any more tutorial videos on how to do anything, please leave in the comments below, and I will try and post something about it. Uh, so, my name is Will Robson. You can check out my work at facebook.com forward slash Robson Inc. I N K. Uh, and thanks for watching. Okay, bye.